Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl M. Today you're about to watch my what I eat in a day. I just want to mention that, you know, what I eat in a day can be very sensitive to the viewers that are watching this video. I just want to mention, first of all, I did not track my calories on a daily basis. I only tracked my calories for this video so you guys get an idea of how much I eat in a day and exactly what I eat in a day. And if you guys were decide if you guys decided to take on these meal ideas what you would be eating so no i do not track calories i don't think it's necessary but i do think it's a good guide if you were looking to gain weight lose weight just to take in how much you're eating but it can be very very draining anyways without further ado let's just go right into the video all the macros all the recipes and everything are in this video so i really hope you guys enjoy and if you're new here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe join the family because i upload every week or i try to <laughs> let's get this breakfast going for breakfast i literally have the same thing every day seven days a week for my breakfast i always have a nice breakfast tortilla wrap i use the ancient grain tortilla from dempsters and i always like to add some shredded cheese for the base we're gonna make our chicken bacon and then our egg omelet i always do an egg white omelet with spinach or mushrooms Now, I'm not a big coffee fan, but I'm a big iced coffee fan. I just love the way it tastes, the flavors are amazing. So, this is a three step ingredient recipe for my iced coffee. Breakfast is served! All right, so sometimes I find around lunchtime I'm not even hungry at all, which is weird, but I made some steamed hagao, which is shrimp dumplings. By the way, I know I said lunch part one. There was no part two. Sometimes I just don't eat enough, and it's realistic. It happens. I love seafood, so for today's dinner, I want to make some tilapia. I found this recipe online, but I tweaked it myself. So I have washed and pat dried the tilapia fillets. They're so big, I love them. I just have my sliced thin lemon rounds placed around the fish. And then for our sauce mixture, all the ingredients are right here, but it's so good. And you can add less or more depending on how many fish slices you have and how big they are. Of course, we need some vegetables as well. I just chose broccolini and I did a typical seasoning of olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm just having my women's best protein. It's like the very end of it now. And then I'm gonna go hit a leg day in my basement. I will put the macros and the calories right over here for you guys. And if you guys wanna shop women's best, I have a support code. So I'm just gonna take a quick shower and then I'll show you the final product of dinner. I'm excited. Yes, I'm eating in my bedroom. It's just how it's been for the past few years. Sometimes I'll eat downstairs in the kitchen. So I made some scalloped potatoes to have on the side with some broccolini as well. Got a bit of tilapia. Mmm. I was kind of scared when the colors weren't so colorful. But it tastes amazing and all the flavor is there. This is some lit tilapia. Alright guys, I just wanted to hop back in to close out the video. Basically, we ate 1,969 calories. Honestly, I thought I was eating like 2,200 calories at least, but that is a wake-up call for me because usually I do want to be in the 2,000 calorie range. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video of what I eat in a day. I will definitely do more in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the meals that I had in this video as well. Of course, don't forget to give this a like, comment what your favorite meal was in this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.